in honor of Veterans Day, we decided we'd want to introduce you to a local veteran we recently met during a team building experience playing that that you see right there, sled hockey. And that's a bunch of our team members on there. Uh, that is the Houston Life team struggling. I know, struggling out on the ice alongside some extremely talented athletes. And let me tell you, sled hockey, there was lots of laughs on the ice when we were there. It is truly no joke. It's hockey, but with modified equipment that allows people of all abilities to play, including veterans who have lost a limb while serving our country. That's right, and you see these gentlemen next to us right now. Joining us now to explain more about the game, Andy Toppin, team captain and U.S. Army veteran, and uh, Jim O'Neill founder of Texas Sled Hockey. So Jim, you founded this and you have such a great story. We heard a bit of it on the ice. This is a way to rehabilitate and uh, you know, get mind off things seen in the battlefield, right? It is. Well, and Annie can speak more to that, but for me, I'm a USA Hockey referee and I've just had so many friends and social activities and uh, you know, certainly exercise as being a ref and I thought, you know, just because somebody has a disability, why should they not have the same opportunity? So we started Star Skaters, which has two programs. One is the skate therapy, and the other is sled hockey, and Andy is the captain. And Andy, first of all, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. The Appreciate ultimate that. sacrifice for, for all of us, truly. Uh, again, a veteran in the U.S. Army. And tell us your story. Uh, what happened? You were serving... Um, yeah, I was, I was in... Um the uh, 2nd Infantry Division, I was a military policeman assigned to them, and I, I got hurt in Iraq in 2009, so nine years coming up here in December, um, and was kind of lost for a little bit, trying to figure out what to do with my, I got kind of chubby, you know, didn't know what to do, and uh, <laughs> found sled hockey, tried it, and loved it. You know, was hockey ever in your blood? Not at all, no. So what, I mean, how did that transition come about? Because that, it's not a natural sport that somebody could just get out on the ice, right? Well, yeah, and especially in Houston, it's not very, very heard of so much as, as you know, hockey, play, you, hockey players, where are you from? It's going to be Minnesota or somewhere that's, right. you know. So uh, I met Jim at a, at a disabled um, fair kind of thing, and he was like, hey, come on, come on out, try this hockey stuff. And I said, I don't think I want to do that. And uh, I, I eventually took him up on it, came out and loved it, and haven't, haven't stopped since. And Andy, explain to us, when you've been on the battlefield and you've had an injury that's a life-changing uh, injury, you were explaining that for you, you gained some weight, depression sort of was yes. part of your world. What kind of a difference did doing this have on your life? Uh, huge. I mean, uh, just the team, the team aspect of it kind of allures me particularly and a lot of veterans also to the, to the hockey just lifestyle you know because that it's everybody's on the same team everybody's working for the same goal you can kind of trash talk each other and it's kind of the same as it was in the military you know <laughs> joshing each other and right. good natured right. you know but it's uh it, it kind of helped me out of a really really dark place that i was getting into thankfully didn't get too far into but um just just being able to be part of that team again and feel like i meant something to someone and it was it was cool in addition to the physical yeah. exercise and then yeah it helped me help me lose weight too and we've seen really some tell. video yes we can we've <laughs> seen video of you on the ice in front of you is the sled and i, I want to bring people up to date so we know specifically of what they're talking about you lost your leg when uh your, the humvee you were in hit an ied in yes. iraq in 2009 yes um and then uh, this is how you play hockey. This is your sled. Yes, yeah. So I sit in here. I sit in the uh, in this part here. It's got all these straps that keep me in there tight because you want it basically like a skate would be on your foot. Right. You want it as tight as possible so that it does what you want it to do when you want it to do it. So it kind of straps around my legs and stuff. I strap my foot in over here, and then we use modified hockey sticks to uh, push us around. They have these really pointy pick parts that stick into the ice to move you around. And you hold it up here to move around and then drop down here if you want to, you know, move with the puck and stuff. And it's so interesting to watch. I mean, Jim, members of the general public, because you guys are playing there at Memorial City Mall, can they come and watch you guys practice? Yes. Every Saturday we're on the ice at 1030. And uh, unfortunately, because ice is like gold in Houston, there's only a handful of ice rinks you can skate on. We, uh, we only have half ice once a week. But, uh, you know, we're always looking for new opportunities and we're having, like, uh, we just had a sled hockey weekend two weekends ago and he got back from San Antonio. So we're always looking for ways to get more ice time. And uh, if, if there's any veterans watching that would like to try this, I don't want us to leave before we plug a veterans sled hockey clinic that we have tentatively scheduled for the 26th of January. But if they contact us, we'll confirm that. So we're looking to book some of that golden ice time for that weekend. So. If you've got somebody that they think maybe because of a disability they can't do this, 
Andy's living proof that all you need is a uh, will to get out there and give it a try. And uh, you don't have to know how to play hockey. You don't know, need to know the rules. Andy had none of those skills. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's been, he's competed. In fact, as I said last weekend, he was with some of the guys from Team USA that uh, have won back to back to back gold medals. So right. last Amazing. weekend, Andy was playing with some of the best players in the world. Well, and we just saw that great team pick of all of you guys. Uh, you're looking good, and I think it's so great that you're out on the ice. Thanks for having us out there. Oh, it, it was, was an incredible experience. It really was. You yeah. guys did awesome. Not well, too bad. You. Awesome might be a little hard, a <laughs> little, little strong. <laughs> well, you know, it's by, it's, as they say, it's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get up. Yeah. And I think the one time you fell down, you got right back up. Oh, yes, yes. okay. Well, there was a couple more than that. Thank you. And thanks to you, Andy, for your yes, service. Thank you. Great having you guys. Thank you.